Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we started on the fountain, and in this part, we will be uh, going back and doing a mission in Honey Hive that has a comet now. It is the Cosmic Comet. First one of those that we'll be seeing, so... Yeah, if you're wondering why I was starting in the terrace, that's... that's why. <laughs> so yeah, Cosmic Comets. Those will, uh... You'll basically just have to race with the cosmic or clone version of yourself. It's basically sort of like the Shadow Mario missions in Sunshine, except you don't have to spray them, you just have to race it. So yes, as you see, we'll the arrows are sort of pointing to where you have to go, and we basically just have to get to the star before Cosmic Mario does. It's pretty cool, though I like the cosmic clones in Galaxy 2 a little better, just because, I don't know, these, these races, while they were fun... They always seem to like be really strict, especially if you're just playing as Luigi, because if there's a there's also a version of Luigi that um crap. If you do like a a budding combinations there, you can do like a head start where Mario like runs forward, but I didn't do it. Oh also if you jump on him you get star bits, but I don't think that really amounts to anything. Um yeah, if you're playing as Luigi, like if you already got all 120 stars and you're um facing like cosmic Luigi. He's, like, a lot faster than Cosmic Mario, and that's one of the main, bigger challenges of playing as Luigi, besides, you know, his physics are different. So yeah, that's, a uh, that's, a uh, fun. I have done that before, and there's one mission later in the game that can get really annoying with Cosmic Luigi, and, oh, honey slows you down. Eh. I think I'm, just, yeah, I'm, like, way ahead of him. There we go. Eh, th that one, the first mission, obviously, you know, it wouldn't be that hard, because it is the first one. If you see, yeah, he's, like, sitting down there crying. <laughs> but if he wins, he'll be, like, sitting on the star. He'll be like, eh, hey, hey, yeah, you, you lost, and yeah, it's pretty weird. And you do lose a life for losing, so be wary of that, I guess, but... Uh, yeah, so is there any other, um, comets that I can do right now? Actually, I think there's only one comet per main galaxy, so no, I guess we don't have any more now. Maybe there's a comet in the... In one of the fountain galaxies. Um, well, I guess the only main one we've done so far is Space Junk, so I guess we can go see that and see if that there's one there. But yeah. Is there a comet? Oh, no, there's not. Okay, but we still do we'll have one more star left. Yeah, I remember. Okay, so this is basically going to be like... Um, everything else of Space Trunk, I guess, that we've, that we haven't seen yet. Like, we've seen, uh, most of, 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 uh, Space Junk, but there was, like, some parts that we flew past that we haven't seen yet, so yeah, that's basically gonna be this. It's also gonna be, the, like, the boss of the area, too. Tartantox's Tangled Web. So, gee, I wonder what kind of boss it'll be. Hmm. Anyway, starting out here, we're on the, uh, the Shroom ships, or I guess whatever it was before. Also, I, I didn't have my headphones in, like, in the gamepad listening to the the music in the last uh, few episodes, but on this one I did. And I gotta say, I really like Space Junk's music. It's it's really good. Like, um, it reminds me, I mean, even though this game came first, it reminds me of um that level in, uh, a few levels in Mario uh, 3D, uh, 3D World that had, um... I think one of the levels was, uh, the Super Galaxy level, or, n yeah, one of the levels was the Super Galaxy level, um, in that game, it was, I don't know, it was just, um, it was really peaceful and serene like this. I don't think it was the exact same song, but yeah. Anyway, we have a Hungry Luma here, and this will be, um, basically like the secret star of this galaxy, so yeah, I, I think he needs, uh, what, like, uh, 50, okay, so I'm, I'll save that for later, just, you know, because I don't have 50 right now, but I will show this. This is what I was talking about before, you can... Uh, clip through this, and if you just, yeah, you can clip through the glass, and Mario will, and Mario will, um, yeah, like, automatically you get pulled towards the launch star. It's kind of silly, but at the same time, it saves you going through the glass there. Um, if you do go through the glass, then you'll just have to, um, you know, just, uh, go, th there's, like, a path you can follow made of wooden planks, but yeah, okay. So here, we have to help Toad out by flinging him. You can fling him in the total opposite direction, and I guess it's just presumed that he dies or something, because you never see him. If you fling him towards here, he'll get stuck on this planet here, or this, uh, pla massive planet here. But anyway, uh, we have this introduction of these, uh, web thi I, I, I don't remember their name, but they're, like, sticky webs that you can grab onto, and you can fling yourself to other places. So yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I guess they're sort of like a cousin of the Polestar, kind of, because, you know, they help you transport uh, to other places. I think it's, um, they're, it's kind of a cool use of the pointer, I guess you could say, but there's, like, a, a galaxy later in the game, like, one of the, like, one-off galaxies that's dedicated to just this concept, and it can make it kind of annoying then, I don't know. Anyway, we have this giant web here. With, oh yeah, we have Toad too. Can you actually launch him into... Oh no, he doesn't do anything. But what you have to do, you have to launch into here. I guess Toad isn't strong enough to do it. That's a really cool animation of those webs going away, by the way. And this is Tartan Tox. What you want to do is uh, watch out for the acid he's spraying. But you can hit his side bulb things there and that'll sort of stun him for a bit. What you want to do is get behind him and hit his butt. Um, you can, like I said, hit his side bulbs too. But I just said that takes longer and... How you mainly will hit him is hitting his bottom lump things here. I don't really know what these are, but... Yeah, that's how you're gonna hit him, and you have to hit all three of them. I think you have to repeat this process, um... Uh, one more time, I think. Uh, he'll grow them back, but then he'll flip over, and this time... He will shoot acid out from all of his appendage things, his dot things. Even if you hit them with the, uh, we the, with the sticky uh, fling web things... Uh, you will still shoot acid out of them, so it's not like it's accomplishing that much, although he is turning in the way that I want him to turn. Um, I probably should have grabbed that coin. Actually, eh. It might stun him for a bit, so... I guess I'll just do that anyway. Um, wait, no, I, I probably can get him from here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can... The, hit, the hitbox is actually a lot bigger than it looks like. You can hit him, like, like you just saw there from way far away, even though I... Yeah, it was way far away. Also, if you need coins, there's some in these uh, rocks here. Like you saw, so yeah. I actually don't know how long it takes him to get up, but, you know, I I, I don't want to push it too much. So yeah, once you hit him again, or hit his three lumps again, he will fall into the sun or something. I don't know. Some sort of star, or mass of light or something. And you will get the star, which, you know, you have to use the main mechanic of the level to get, obviously. It's kind of fitting, I guess. And that's the star. And like I said, there, or like you saw, there is a Hungry Luma that we still have to go back and do, so I will go back and do that as well. And that's, I think that's actually the first, you know, quote-unquote secret star that we've had. Oh, oh, the Hungry Luma for the fountain appeared as well. But uh, we have our own, we have a different Hungry Luma to be worried about right now. And wow, Space Chunk is really taking us a long time. I guess this is getting into like the the bigger galaxies, I guess. I mean, Honey Hive and uh, Good Egg were big on themselves, but they didn't have, like, more than five stars, apparently. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll just be trying to collect as many star bits as I can. I know that I saw a lot of star bits on that uh, planet with the glass on it, so if I ever need some more, you know, I guess I can get to that. What do you have to say? Brave to a Brigade Toad went in search for a Power Star. He went off to that planet, and he hasn't been seen since. You think he's okay? I'm not sure if he's talking about the one that was inside the planet, or the one that we flung that was over there. I don't know. I always thought that was kind of funny, too. I can just fling the Toad away. Yeah. Also, you can kill these spiders for Star Bits, and obviously, if you jump on them, you get coins. You know, like I've explained before. Star Bits and these things. There's three on this planet. Uh, yeah. I think we should be able to make it to 50 easily. Well, relatively easily. Uh, no Starbits here, just coins, although apparently I could use them. And yeah, like, uh, I, I didn't mention before, but with these Polestar things, you can hold on to them. Like, you can grab onto it, and then you can put your hand, like, over here if you want to grab Starbits or something. And then you can also, you'll still be holding onto it, but if you let go, you'll, um... Mario will eventually fall to whatever gravity things nearest him, or just to nowhere. Like if he's just an, on it, um, above an abyss or something. Uh, is there more star bits up here? Or do I have to actually go into the planet? I'm missing eight. I know I can get eight in there, but you know I just want to you know save as much time as I can. I guess. Um, no, I guess I have to go in there. Okay, where's the entrance? I know there's like a big light pointing to it or something. Maybe. Uh, where is it? Oh, is it up here? Yeah, okay. It's right by the pull star. That's weird. I guess there's another pull star for you to grab on. I didn't notice that before. Um, wait, can you actually, like, smash this glass from... Never mind. No, I don't think so. I thought that was, like, a separate part of the glass that you could, like, smash in here. It didn't look like it had anything in it, but, you know, it would just be a cool little detail, I guess. 
Oh yeah, no, another one of the eight things you can spin into. And there's 50, so um, you can just, uh, s where's the entrance? Did I pass it? Probably, there's the, there's the launch star, so I guess if you didn't know how to get to the launch star from here, there's your path to it. Like I said, there was these, um, there is these, uh, wooden planks. Oh, I guess this is to help you get out. Okay, maybe it's not so much to actually help you land on the planet, but just to get out. Wait, can you actually, eh. I don't want to waste too many star bits. I was seeing if you could shoot at that and it would give you star bits, but I guess no, Mario's body has to be penetrating through it. Yeah, okay. Uh, 50. So, yes. Here's your 50. And if he gets that fat from just 50 star bits, you know, he probably... I don't know. He's really fat. Transform, and he commits another suicide. Oh, yeah. This is the, this is the other thing I was talking about. You know, I said that, uh, the... Yoshi on the t as one of the file select characters was one of the only two references to Yoshi in the game. Well, this is the other. You have to basically kill all the Goombas on this planet. I don't know why there's a combo counter. It doesn't amount to anything, I guess, except for, like, high score. Um, I guess I can try and get... Oh, well. I think that's the, actually the most I... No, I think the most I got in is 10. And that's just because I, like, lined up all the Goombas in a row. So, yeah, you can go for high score, but it doesn't amount to anything. You just have to kill all the Goombas regardless. You can do it by spinning, too, although they don't give you anything, which is kind of odd. I guess that's, like, I don't know, because they're a, an objective instead of just, like, an extra thing. Also, yeah, the steam shooting out of Yoshi's nose will actually hurt you. But, yeah, this is, sadly, one of the only... Th only things mentioning Yoshi in the actual game, and is the only thing mentioning Yoshi in the actual game, besides, you know, the file select thing. But once you kill all the Goombas, a star will appear on Yoshi's nose. I think the steam also starts, or also stops shooting out as well. Or, no, actually, I think I just heard it. Oh no, I guess it doesn't. I guess Yoshi was mad, because all the Goombas were on his face, so he's, so he's shooting out steam. Although, maybe he's mad because Mari was still on it too. <laughs> that was kind of weird, like, Yoshi's big eyes were all up in the camera. <laughs> Anyway, um, I think that's all for Space Junk right now, unless there's another comment that I forget or something. Yoshi's Unexpected Appearance, yeah. Nice name. And, uh, we discovered, I think that's the boss. I guess, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's another one of those question mark galaxies. Okay, yeah, probably was. Um, should we start the next major galaxy or do a question mark galaxy? I actually kind of forget what the question mark galaxies are. Yeah, let's do them anyway. I mean, why not? Okay, Rolling Green Galaxy. Oh, this one. Ugh. This is the start of another main mechanic that'll be used a lot more, even in some main galaxies. Which, um... Yeah, most people don't like this mechanic at all. Rolling in the clouds. Yeah, you'll see what it is when we get there, but... It basically involves that ball with the star in it, and... Kind of bad motion controls. And considering I'm using a Wii Motion Plus... I actually don't think they implemented that at all, because this came out before Wii Motion Plus was even a thing in 2007. I think Wii Motion Plus came out in 2009. But yeah, you have to jump on the... Well, actually, no, you have to get here first, and the billboard would talk to you. Or, his name is Billboard. But Hey now, if you're thinking about just rolling on that ball away, you better listen to old Billboard here. First jump on top of the ball, obviously. Doing a fancy jump. Although that didn't work, apparently. And you have to hold the Wiimote upright like this, sort of like a nunchuck or something. Or, um, joystick, I mean. Uh, that's the base position. Uh, you can tilt to move the ball. Um, yeah, so you, you don't have to press the A button to, mo to, to, uh, to uh, move or anything. You just have to tilt, and, you know, you'll gain momentum. And then you press the A button to jump. And at certain points, there'll be these cannon-like things here that'll shoot you. You can jump over enemies here, but beware that the enemies will give you height, especially some enemies more so than others. And down is pretty much death, so don't fall. As you see, they're sort of going with like a golf mechanic here. There's star bits that you can try and collect with your pointer, pointer because I think if you get, if you manage to get your Wiimote out like that, you can um you can still collect star bits with your pointer. But no, it is not worth it. Do not even try it. In fact, I'm probably going pretty fast. You can take that alternate path if you feel daring, but I don't. Also, if you if you just jump on a Goomba like um, that, it won't give you any more bouncy height, so yeah. Also, uh, jumping, if you're ever going too fast and you want to stop on this ball, like on a dime, jumping is a good way to stop that, and as you see, this level is pretty short. It's just sort of getting you into that mechanic, but... But, 
know that there will be later levels with that mechanic that'll be a lot more annoying later in the game, like I said. And also Mario, like, can clip through the flag there, that's kind of weird. And there's a star. Pretty easy galaxy, but, you know, that's only temporary, kind of. Well, that mechanic, I mean, I guess the galaxy will always be easy, because it's sort of static like that, but I, me I meant the mechanic. It, it will get harder later in the game, trust me. Oh, trust me. <laughs> and 19 stars, galaxy complete. I, For some reason, I thought there was another star in that galaxy. I don't know why, considering it's one of those one-off galaxies. Anyway, what is the next one? I guess we'll just do these, and then in the next part, we will probably start on this one. Oh, the Hurry Scurry galaxy. This one is also pathetically easy. <laughs> It's basically just, uh, actually, I think that's the first time we've seen these. Or, no, I think they were in a small part of, um, Good Egg. But anyway, Shrinking Satellite. It's basically, it's just a whole planet of these tiles that's, that, um, they go away once when you step on them. Yeah, they have this beginning planet here to just, uh, get you into the mechanic. I, although, to be fair, I think it's to load that planet over there. <laughs> if you ask me, but, um, actually, yeah, see, the, the platforms uh, disappear if you stomp on them. Or just go on them. The floor falls away when you step on it, so yeah. You can still stay on it when it's falling away like that for a little bit, but you just be aware that it will go away eventually, so yeah. You can get this life, it's not that hard to get, actually. What do you say? I tried walking along the path, but it started disappearing with every step I took. Oh no. It's dangerous, I tell ya. I tells ya. Hey, you can get coins here too, but it doesn't really do anything. I mean, like I said, coins are pretty much useless in this game. And yeah... You, you might have thought, well, what am I going to be doing on the shrinking satellite, quote-unquote? But yeah, you're going to be collecting these notes, and you have to collect all of them. Usually when you're collecting notes, it's just for a bonus or something, but no, this time it's for actually a star. Uh, there's a there's a thing like this later in the game where you have to collect a lot more notes, and um, it's it's on a different premise, and you actually have like the bee suit while you're doing it as well, so it's made pathetically easy then. But no, this time we're just doing it as regular Mario, and something you, funny you can do, uh, ch the star surprisingly has its own gravity, so you can, like, um, go around the star a bunch of times because, you know, it has, like, its own gravity, and eventually, if you're not getting dizzy, well, you should, and actually, that was making me a little dizzy. I'm sorry if that, if you're, like, mo if you have, like, motion sickness or something from that, but anyway, there's a star. It's, it's, I just thought, you know, it's kind of a funny thing you can do. Um, be, yeah, you don't want to fall, obviously, because, you know, there is a black hole, but... Most people think that if you do, if you don't hit the star, you'll, like, go to your death, but no, the star has its own gravity. They made sure of that, and it's pretty funny to exploit like that. But anyway, in the next part of Super Mario Galaxy, we will be revealing what is in this, uh, this massive galaxy here, and we'll probably finish that galaxy, uh, maybe. Unless another comet appears, like, in another... Well, actually, no. I don't think there is another comment that could appear somewhere else. But anyway, uh, that is what we'll be doing then. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.